Okay, hi everybody. Carl and Samuel here at Escape talking about tables, or really table mounts. So what your table mounts on top of. Because at Escape we have three different options that you can choose from. Today we're sitting in a 21NE um, with a U-shape, and this is the standard that it comes in. And we're sitting with a Springfield pedestal. So Samuel, tell us, why would someone choose a Springfield pedestal? Well, the Springfield pedestal, it comes uh, from the marine industry, so we have one table leg down here so you have a little bit more room down there one of the main reasons customers choose that is because it's pneumatic so there is basically air pressure or gas pressure and it will lift up the table from its uh, sunken down position mm. so what that does is if you are making your bed every night then this may be a little faster for you at least you don't have to lift the table top out yeah so it's a little bit easier if you have some mobility issues yes more more than anything and it gives you a bit more freedom for your legs yeah. on their needs now of course there are there are always you know with 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 rvs and and tables when you're trying to get as much free space underneath the table then you don't have all four corners supported and four corners gives you the most amount of stability mm -hmm. that you may want in a table but what did your parents teach you when you were a kid don't put your elbows on the table when you eat. That's right. And exactly the same thing that I learned and I used to get a lot of slack or flack over that when I was a when I was a kid and I could never understand why. Obviously there's a manners part of it, but maybe there's something else to do with with yeah. RVs and, and tables. So with these tables, I mean, because they're centrally they're mounted centrally, you got a lever arm on either side. And so they will move a little bit. I mean they're not going to move a huge amount, they're not going to topple over on you but they will move so if samuel is sitting there with his uh with a full um cup of water uh, or a glass of wine yeah as the case may be and carl comes along and decides to put his weight down on this side the table is going to move a little bit not hugely and i'm not the smallest person in the world either so yeah you know i can put i can put a fair bit of pressure pressure onto this table and the same would happen on the front and the same would happen on the back of course when we have our two pole system and we'll go do a bit of a video on this because the poles are more like here and here and then this one then you have a shorter lever arm so it won't move as much front to back but it will move the same pretty much side this way yes with us okay yeah. and then we're going to look at the lagoon table mm -hmm. as well uh, the lagoon sorry lagoon i don't know how you pronounce that one lagoon lagoon l-a-g-u-n i guess it's right. lagoon lagoon table um, which has a, a single pole on the on this side and comes and mounts somewhere up around the around the center. However, with the twenty one NE, because it's it's uh, longer, yeah, generally than the than the other tables mounting off of here, it mounts uh, a little bit further back than center, so it's so it's like a longer lever arm. Hey side. Carl, when would you not choose this table? Is there a, is there a reason why we would say this table is not ideal? Um, if you, for instance, would like to get to your storage compartment and you have to move the tabletop. Yeah, well, ob obviously you can't remove the center piece that's screwed down into the floor. Yeah. So if you wanted to remove the entire table and the legs that it mounts on, then you would go for a two-pole system or potentially the leg on yeah. the table mount. So permanently fixed, but we can still move it back and forth so yeah. to make it easier to get in and, in and out. And right. in fact, where Harrison shows, if I open these up here, I can even move the table in the other direction. And I could say, let's have it this way. Yeah, you know, maybe yeah well, we could be this way. Well, this way, yeah, yeah. play cards or, or so. Whatever, so. It, whatever it might be. Yeah. So that's a handy feature of this. Mm -hmm. You really only get it on the, for the center swing like this, you only yes. get it on the, on the Springfield pedestal yeah. mount that we uh, that we use. Okay, so we do a quick uh, demonstration on how we would turn this into a bed. Mm -hmm. okay, so maybe I'll uh, jump out here, Simon. Okay. So it's a bit chilly in here. We're actually outside in the uh, parking lot. I don't know what the temperature is today. I think we're down around. Gosh, I can't even do the Fahrenheit calculation, but we're down around. Uh, you know, two or three degrees Celsius. So to make this into a bed, I would typically take those side cushions away. And then I move it to the side, just flip this one up and I pull it over. And the 
other side and I center it I have opened these two locks now basically what I do is I push it down right back in there now I do have to keep it because it naturally wants to spring up so either you hold it with one arm or somebody else holds it for you and then you lock it back in place right there and that's how you it's simple. Make your bed, put the cushions, cushions back on. Cushions on and off you go. Beautiful. Okay. Very good. good. Great. We'll move on and look at the other tables. Okay, we're back again. Now we're going to look at the Lagoon table. The Lagoon table is a cantilever mount. It runs from the back of the U-shaped dinette through up underneath to around the center of the table. Now the Lagoon mount is obviously it's a cantilever mount so in terms of the table it's a little springier it's a little springier right so if you're to play with it's a little, definitely a little springier than the springfield yeah samuel why would we choose this so if you move that table out like that we have all this space to get to our overhead cabinet easy reach we can sit like that, relax, yeah, put our feet down, <laughs> that's right. The beer, that's very, wine, yeah, that's water. So it's very versatile. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is a very... We can move it around. And... I like this, this is a very kind of, uh, yeah, versatile, comfortable setup. Yeah. And now, it is a little more springy than the other two options that we have. But I think that's about the only downside that I can come up with for the Lagoon table mount. And of course, we've implemented the Lagoon table mount because, you know, last year we had a lot of people asking for the Lagoon table or if we had the ability to install the Lagoon table. So I think William and Dustin have done a nice job in, in sort of developing this solution for us so we can have this. But bearing in mind, of course, you know, there are always some pros and cons to these different table mounts. So for the Lagoon table mount, if I rest my elbows on this it is a little more springy mm -hmm. and people should just be aware of that yes now we're going to do a deconstruction on this turn it into a bed yeah. but we'll do it in the fifth wheel in our showroom just because we're actually in this trailer at the moment in our fiberglass shop because it's being polished up and uh, this will be going into our showroom very soon that's it anything else samuel on this one? Oh, that's perfect then yeah as you said we can totally remove the table and the and the leg here. Yeah. Oh, and of course, one thing I didn't mention is this can be locked in position. So yeah. we can lock this up now so that it won't spin. Oops. Lock this side up. Now it won't move. All right, so to make a bed out of your lagoon table, we recommend to first loosen this bit here. And uh, So the way this works is you have a little lever and a little push button. So when you push this out, you can move the lever. This will tighten it. This will release it. So I can tighten, release it like this. I'm pushing it out. I bring the lever back, drop it, and it will loosen it. Okay. So now we'll see if we can lift this out from here. There we go. This arm here, same, I'll push it out. This will tighten it. So down to loosen. Okay, there we go. And then I can just slide it out like this. And now See this little area here? Slide it right in there. You won't do it the other way, Sam. And 
and then lock it in place here. Final step. Must be to lift that in. And then lower your cushions. And your backrest slides in here. Voila. Okay, that's that one. Now let's go look at the standard offering. Okay, we're back again. Here we are this time with our standard offering. So Samuel, tell us about this one. Now, this one here, we believe has the most ability in this corner and this corner because it rests on two table legs. It still has the slider, so we can still move this back mm -hmm. and forth. Mm -hmm. um, we still feel that, you know, if you press here, there is a certain wobbliness yeah. on these two corners. So again, um, teeter totters a little bit because yeah. they're, they're right in the middle, in the center. Yes. Right, really. Um, so this is probably the table that has the most stability, like you said, mm -hmm. fore and aft, yeah. maybe if we're talking that way, um, but is still it's probably just as similarly wobbly as uh, the other, um, as maybe the Springfield pedestal, yes. if we're looking this way. Yeah. So um, it does uh, come with a removable tabletop and the mm. legs are removed. So if you're thinking of maybe storing something here for doing your journey, you can easily take that off. And um, we will show you also how to make a bed on that one, right? Yeah. Okay. So our Very standard good. feature, basically this is how the table comes if you don't choose any of the other options. So we've gone from We've done the Springfield, uh, the Springfield table, the Lagoon, and this standard offering with the two poles. That's right. Very good. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's deconstruct this and turn it into a bed. First step, because this is a slider, and we're going to be lifting it off. I would go ahead and tighten this up. So I tighten this up so it doesn't slide on me. It's good enough for this stage. No, it's not. There we go. And I like to sit in to disengage the poles underneath. One smart way of doing it is to twist. It'll loosen it off. I like to sort of twist it. And then I like to lift it up from here. I tilt it forwards. I'm sure there's a number of ways of doing this. I like to tilt it forwards and then pop one off. The second one, second one off, then drop it down into your bed, tilt it up, like that. pull in. to a table again. Easy.